I am very, very passionate about the topic of minimalism in everyone's life. But one thing that I think is not separable from each other is minimalism and um, a zero waste movement, or as I like to call it, a minimal waste approach. Because I do not think that zero waste is achievable for anyone, not for me at least, but that is for another video. So today I wanted to share with you some tips and tricks how to reduce your waste, your plastic waste in your house, in, uh, in your life and replace some of the items with more environmentally friendly alternatives. So let's get started. So the first things are things from the bathroom area so the first one of the first things that i replaced is my toothbrush i use this wooden toothbrush to be honest this is the first one i ever bought it's by hydrophil i bought it in an unpackaged zero waste store here in germany it was four euros which i which is more expensive than the ones i normally buy but i thought how many times a year do i buy a new toothbrush anyway so i thought this was a good um, investment it's made out of wood and it's easily recyclable the second thing same company are q-tips the bad thing about q-tips is that they have the plastic bit in the middle which is not recyclable and it's very small plastic so it's probably going to get into the water at some point but these ones the middle parts are made out of wood so it's a good and easy alternative and i maybe need one of these packages a year so again it's not a big um financial strain <laughs> to buy one of these and even if you need two two a year it's still very affordable so toothbrush and q-tips the next thing i almost replace completely because i still have got some things to use up uh um is, is shampoo i like to use um soaps and like this by lush to save on the plastic packaging of um, shampoo and shower gels and conditioner and whatever this these ones i have this friend gave to me these are by the brand lush i think you can get them in many countries um if you don't buy a container like this then they come in like little brown paper bags and look like this so i'm gonna use these and once they are used up because in my opinion they're quite expensive and with my long hair they only last me a very short amount of time and i'd have to spend a lot of money on lush so i only buy those on occasion but what i do buy is i buy normal regular soaps um this one is with aloe vera and this does the job just fine uh I, you just have to brush your hair really really well afterwards but it's the same as normal shampoo just it's not ex as expensive and it just comes in the paper package that you can recycle easily so much for the bathroom stuff now let's get um, into the kitchen supplies that i replaced and one of the first things that i did is that i um, replaced tea bags with loose tea for me this looks like this i always buy my tea loose um, leaf and put them into these dark containers now this is very important, you cannot just store your tea in regular see-through containers because the sunlight actually damages the leaves um, and it makes the taste kind of go away. I don't know the exact science behind it, but this is why I use these dark um, colored glasses. And then sometimes I take the label and put it on top. I did it with this one, for this one I didn't have a label anymore, but yeah so i can see what's in it or i can just open it and smell it this is chocolate cupcake tastes amazing along with the loose leaf tea that i only use i do not use paper um, bags to put the tea in to put in the thing i know many people use these metal things but what i like more is i use these 
we call them tea socks because they're ba they are basically um, like this this t-shirt fabric or the stuff you make socks of. And I bet you could do them yourself, but I didn't have any socks that I wanted to do this with. It has got metal on the top and then you just put the tea inside, put it in the mug and it's the same as tea bags basically. They change color after a while because of the tea. Um, but this does not mean that they're dirty or anything. You just wash them out with cold and hot water after you're done making your tea. So this is a brand new one and this is um, a one that I've used for a couple of months now. And I do not have to replace this very often every couple of years, I guess. And I have two so I can make two different kinds of teas for two people. And one more thing for the kitchen that I replaced are straws. I was never one to use a lot of um, plastic straws in the first place, but I used to get them at coffee shops or smoothie places or wherever. People throw them at you basically. So what I do now, I carry the stainless steel one with me. You can cheaply buy them on, on Amazon or any other um, website they're usable just make sure you buy like a little brush you can pull through so you get all the stuff from the inside out which is very important I didn't do that in the beginning and was wondering how people did it so I bought one of these brushes and um, yeah whenever I travel especially I always take this miss with me because this is the time when I um, go to go out for coffee or drinks most often and then I will um, happily take this with me the next thing I replaced are plastic um, bottles. In Germany we have a very good recycling system concerning bottles because for every bottle we, um, we give back to the store we get some money back. So people actually go and collect the bottles off the street to give them back to the supermarket because they give you money for it. Um, for the, I think it's like 25 cents and 50 cents depending on the size of your bottle and the brand. Um, so there's actually a lot of um, very little plastic waste concerning bottles because people <laughs> really they want to make money of it and um, but but still I don't think it is really necessary most of the time I just drink tea coffee or uh, water and the water that comes from the tub here is um, drinkable and there is nothing wrong with it so my sister actually bought me these two water bottles for for my birthday and I have used them ever since they do not open up very easily and um, they're a bit on the heavier side so if you prefer a lighter option maybe go for a stainless steel one but it's the same principle this one I use at home and this one I take with me um, whenever I go somewhere. The same thing goes for coffee mugs. I like to to have my coffee and I go to the shop maybe once a week or something and when I get a coffee to go, they always give you these like plastic cups or paper plastic um, things. And I really don't like them. And it's actually cheaper to bring your own mug. Of course, you have to buy this one um, first. But whenever you bring your own mug and you, t you, take the, you buy the coffee to go, then they will give you a 25 cent or 30 cent discount depending on the coffee shop, which makes it quite cheap so I do not I just had to drink a few coffees and then I actually paid the mug off Um, this is I bought this last week and I'm so proud of it I've been looking for something like this for a very very long time it is not made of plastic it's made of out of bamboo and let me just read to you what the packaging says I, I saved this because this was the packaging by the way just paper so I will recycle it and it's made by the brand bamboo cup so this is bamboo and it says it's reusable mainly made of renewable bamboo fiber corn powder and a low, low quantity of mfs binder um its quality is in compliance with all eu standards it has a bamboo lid no silicon which was really important to me not only because it's leak proof but also because silicon is kind of plastic um okay it has a trendy design i love it i cycle everywhere it's odor free and taste neutral. It has a high quality sleeve included. Um, it's dishwasher safe and it's not suitable for the white microwave wave. And it has a ca capacity of 400 milliliters, which is like a medium sized coffee in the coffee shops. And this is the sleeve that you get with it. And then you just put it around, it works. Thank 
you. I knew I should not have done that. I already used this. See? Nice. Let me get a towel. Okay, so um, like if it has coffee in it, don't turn it on its head because all the coffee is gonna come out and not, you know what I mean, right? But yeah. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is this. I do not use um, tissues anymore um, for blowing my nose especially. I still have got some paper wipes in the kitchen, um, but I'm going to use them up and then I'm going to use um, like towels or made out of fabric. These ones I just cut up a um, t-shirt. I don't know, I know they don't look very pretty, but I use them as tissues for blowing my nose or wiping things off counters just because I know that paper is somewhat recyclable, but I still think it is not necessary to use paper tissues. Um, this fabric is much softer on your nose when you have um, a cold and have to bl um, blow your nose quite often. You know, you get these like red scrapes, I don't know, but after a while it hurts and with this one it doesn't. So it's very easy to just cut up an old shirt. I'm planning on making my own like really beautiful ones that I can take everywhere because these are like kind of hide. They're brown, I have the same one in pink and they don't look very nice, but um, they work. So I use them until I have other ones and I'm very happy with the transition. It was a transition. Um, I wasn't comfortable with using, with using them at first, but then I thought my grandparents and their parents, they use them all the time and it's just like a modern invention that we use paper tissues and have to throw them away, whereas these you can just easily pop into the washing machine and um, wash and then they're good to go again and you wash them with um, other clothes that you have and there is no waste or anything. What I do not use anymore are plastic bags. It actually costs money to take a plastic bag home from the store with you. So most of the time they will sell you reusable cotton bags that you can use multiple times. And since then the um, like plastic bag waste has reduced drastically and you do not see them lying around everywhere. And people use them very cautiously. There's still some shops especially like clothes shops that will give them to you but most of the time they cost money it's not a lot it's like 10 cents or 25 cents but it's still enough to pay to make people wonder if they really need it or if they just if they should just buy a cotton bag for two euros and then use this for the next 10 years of their life so many people already transitioned transition to that which i think is a very very great idea but i do not buy these cotton bags i actually get quite a lot of bags for free so what i for example used to to um, bring to the bakery to buy like bread in is I use this see-through bag. I got this for washing underwear, <laughs> but I do not use it for that. I never did. So I use it to make, I've got a second one and I use the second one to make my oat milk. And this one is just to bring to the store to any other shop. So I have like a little bag with me and I've got plenty more. I've got 10 or 15, I don't know, too many to count. And I just pop this into my handbag and take everywhere. It's very small and foldable. And yeah, so get yourself some reusable bags. Yeah, so these were my zero waste swaps that anyone can do. And it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a process. It's a step-by-step it's a step process. And I still have a lot of plastic that I use and also packaging from food. And yeah, here I didn't concentrate on food really because that is a whole, a whole other topic. But um, yeah, these are the little tips that I wanted to share with you. I hope you found them helpful and might try to incorporate some of them into your life. Um, they're very easy. They're very quick swaps that you can do. And yeah, please don't turn over your mug while there's still, still coffee in, in it. Logic. But I hope you will have an amazing day and see you in the next one. Bye.